Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to start off with a short overview, but pretty much I'm going to feel the need to read through the full article pretty much. There's a link in the description. And in essence, to give you the, the short overview, it's in regards to a mother who's been accused of brutally murdering her six-year-old son earlier this year in February the 16th. The little boy that you see in front of you, six-year-old, Carvel Stevens, uh, Carvel Stevens, I'm not sure of the pronunciations, apologies. Um, she brutally murdered him and then decapitated him. So the reason why we're looking at these details today is because she has been found mentally incompetent to stand trial. Uh, so her name is Tasha Hefs, Tasha Hefs, the mother, 35 years of age. Um, and the judge has decided that uh, she is not capable of standing trial, mentally incompetent. That's the conclusion made by the judge in question. Uh, so she, Tasha Hefs was facing trial on first degree murder and armed criminal action charges stemming from the horrific February the 16th death of her little boy Carvel Stevens. I'm going to go through some of the details in regards to the discovery of Carvel's body. Um, officers who responded to the Kansas City crime scene back in February also found the family's dog dead and decapitated. So the six-year-old boy and a dog was killed and decapitated by the mother, Tasha Hefs, who has now been declared mentally incompetent to stand trial police rushed to the mother's home after receiving a call from a woman inside saying that the devil was trying to attack her following her arrest the mother allegedly confessed to her son's killing telling investigators that she killed him in the bathtub before decapitating the young six-year-old she had been ordered to undergo a mental evaluation and the findings were recently submitted on May the 25th um, and it's been determined that uh, the mother lacks the mental fitness to proceed to trial and she has been placed in the custody of the Missouri Department of Mental Health. Um, there'll be a re-evaluation after six months but at this point in time pretty much that's the situation she won't be facing trial unless the situation changes and it's deemed that she is mentally competent to do so um so for the time being she's going to remain within a suitable medical hospital facility medical hospital facility for treatment for her mental issues that's really the full details there other than to say there is a gofundme it's still active um there's still a fair way away from the target uh so you know not everyone is in a position to donate oh they, these guys are very generous um not everyone is in a position to donate but if you are perhaps that's something that you'd like to have a look at uh but uh, of course we pray for the lost soul of young carvel i hope i pronounced his name correctly um such an absolute tragedy uh, such a brutal murder um what more is there to say i guess we could ask ourselves is this right that the mother doesn't face trial that she's going to be held within a mental institution uh, unless that situation changes following a re-evaluation um, which is scheduled for six months is that right that she gets away with not facing trial well I'll tell you my opinion, and this is basically an uneducated opinion. This is my gut feeling. More than happy to listen to your guys' thoughts, um, you know, and to be persuaded. But yeah, my feeling is, if they're mentally incompetent, jail's not a suitable environment. That, that's my take on it. I think there's a very high risk that pretty much anyone can claim mental incompetency to some level. But, um, you know... I have faith I have faith in a lot of the judicial system maybe not complete faith not well not complete faith and maybe some areas 
I'm a little bit too ignorant on to have a lot of faith in. Um, but I think these guys do know what they're looking for. And I mean, I have to say, clearly this woman is batshit crazy. Pardon my French. Um, but uh, to, uh, I don't know what the right words are, but to be as brutal as she were in regards to murdering her six-year-old boy, Carvel, um, as well as the family pet, the family dog, and de de decapitating both of them. I mean, that's just beyond a level of insanity. Uh, sorry, that beyond a level of sanity. I, uh, you know, I wouldn't strongly question that this woman is absolutely mad as a hatter, completely insane. Um, she's lost. Uh, she, her, her brain is rotten. Her brain is not right. Um, so yeah, I personally feel that it is what it is and uh, that of course she shouldn't really be given too many comforts, uh, but uh, she's not a proper human really is how I view it. Uh, not not to be overly condemnable to those people with mental health issues, but, um, you know, she's in such a severe situation that I would think uh, that, um, yeah, she's effectively not like us. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Hopefully I've done a half-decent job of covering this. Again, prayers to the lost soul of a six-year-old innocent child. Um and again, a reminder to have a look at the GoFundMe if you're in a position to uh, consider making a donation. I'll thank you for your time.